So I'm going to start out here by heading to writelightapp.org. Oh, see a nice splash screen here. It's brought to you by Clean Energy Resource Teams and University of Minnesota Extension. And now we're on the home screen, seeing lots of options, and I'm going to first try to replace a bulb. And I have a CFL and a lamp that just burned out. It's a soft white bulb. It's that warm color in my living room. And it is a 60 watt equivalent, oh, which is nice to know. It only uses nine watts and it's 800 lumens. I'm gonna pick this just enough option. And wow, I'm already done picking out a new LED bulb for my lamp. So now I have what to look for when shopping on the front of the box, soft white, 60 watt equivalent and 800 lumens. And then on the back of the box, it shows me the lighting facts label I'm bound to see. Again, oh, it has the life. So based on three hours of use a day, it would last for almost 23 years. That's wild. And then I'm seeing that light appearance chart. So I can see um, that I want one on that left hand of the scale that's warmer and energy use nine watts. Excellent. So I, uh, I had another light I wanted to look up. I'm actually putting in a new fixture in my dining room. So I'm gonna pick dining room and it is a new chandelier. I'm gonna get some bulbs for it. It actually takes eight bulbs. So I'm gonna put that in here. And I'm looking for, there they are, these candle bulbs because I heard they had those in LEDs now. And it's for my dining room. I really like this soft white color. So I'm going to take the color they're recommending here. And they're recommending also that I get 200 lumen light bulbs, so 25 watt equivalents. I bet that's because there are so many bulbs in the fixture, and together it'll be just enough. So I am going to go ahead and choose that option. And congrats, you picked out a new energy efficient LED bulb. So it's got all the info here again, and it's got that quantity I wanted of eight bulbs. I actually want to save this one so that I have it for when I go to the store. So I'm going to click Save. I'm new here, so I actually have to create, click this link to create a new account. I'm going to put in my email address, which is info at cleanenergyresourceteams.org. And I'm going to put in my new password, which is light bulbs one two three exclamation point. Have to put it in one more time. Light bulbs one two three exclamation. Ha! It worked. So I'm going to put chandelier in for the name. And there it is. So let's pretend I went away from this, right? And I came back into the app when I went to the store. So I'm going to click on my saved bulbs. Here's my chandelier bulb. Click on product details there and it shows me all that great information about the bulb. I'm actually going to say that I bought it. So I ended up getting the GE brand. You could put anything in here, GE, Philips, anything you wanted. Uh, it's totally open-ended. And then eight bulbs. Yep, got them all and save. So there we go. Product saved. I also saw there was a lot of other great info about lighting in here and so under the learn more section, we have why pick LEDs. You can compare them to CFLs and incandescents. We have brightness and dimming, which is really helpful because then you can understand what lumens are. You can understand about dimming and looking for dimmability on the package. It's really, really helpful. And yeah, all other sorts of stuff here too about color and shapes, how to dispose safely of CFLs because of the mercury. All sorts of good stuff in here. And then if you really need to contact anyone under About This App, you can see who created it, and you can click to email if you have any problems with the app. So that concludes our demo. Thanks for using it at rightlightapp.org.